In the mathematical field of complex analysis, a pole of a meromorphic function is a certain type of singularity that behaves like the singularity of at z equals zero. For a pole of the function f at point to the function approaches infinity as z approaches a. Definition. Formally, suppose U is an open subset of a complex plane C, P is an element of U and F. U, P, C is a function which is holomorphic over its domain. If there exists a holomorphic function G, U, C, such that G is non-zero, and a positive integer N, such that for all Z in U, P, holds, then P is called a pole of F. The smallest such n is called the order of the pole. A pole of order 1 is called a simple pole. A few authors allow the order of a pole to be 0, in which case a pole of order 0 is either a regular point or a removable singularity. However, it is more usual to require the order of a pole to be positive. From above several equivalent characterizations can be deduced. If n is the order of pole p, then necessarily g0 for the function g in the above expression. So we can put for some h that is holomorphic in an open neighborhood of p and has a zero of order n at p. So informally one might say that poles occur as reciprocals of zeros of holomorphic functions. Also, by the holomorphy of g, f can be expressed as. This is a Laurent series with finite principal part. The holomorphic function is called the regular part of f, so the point p is a pole of order n of f if and only if all the terms in the Laurent series expansion of f around p below degree minus n vanish and the term in degree minus n is not zero. Pole at infinity. A complex function can be defined as having a pole at the point at infinity. In this case U has to be a neighborhood of infinity, such as the exterior of any closed ball. To use the previous definition, a meaning for G being holomorphic at infinity is needed. Alternately, a definition can be given starting from the definition at a finite point by suitably mapping the point at infinity to a finite point. The map does that. Then, by definition, a function f holomorphic in a neighborhood of infinity has a pole at infinity if the function has a pole at, the order of which will be regarded as the order of the pole of f at infinity, pole of a function on a complex manifold. In general, having a function that is holomorphic in a neighborhood of the point in the complex manifold m, it is said that f has a pole at or of order n if, having a chart, the function has a pole of order n at. The pole at infinity is the simplest non-trivial example of this definition in which m is taken to be the Riemann sphere and the chart is taken to b. Examples. The function has a pole of order 1 or simple pole at the function has a pole of order 2 at and a pole of order 3 at. The function has poles of order 1 it to see that right in Taylor series around the origin. The function has a single pole at infinity of order 1. Terminology and generalizations. If the first derivative of a function f has a simple pole at a, then a is a branch point of f. A non-removable singularity that is not a pole or a branch point is called an essential singularity. A complex function which is holomorphic except for some isolated singularities and whose only singularities are poles is called meromorphic.